Hello folks, I am Bob Rosenbaum. I am at 916 Xanadu West, which is in Bay Indies, Venice, Florida. I'm gonna discuss the house, I'm gonna discuss uh, Bay Indies, and I'm also gonna discuss my Florida dreams. So, and then we're gonna show you the house, because that's why we're here. Right, Gene? Absolutely. Okay, so, Bay Indies is a 55 plus resort community. We're located 2.2 miles from the beach, over by the Gulf of Mexico. It is land lease, so we own our homes, we lease the land. Why Bay Indies? Well, Bay Indies make sure that all the homes are in compliance, meaning that everything looks good. Um, I hear the words trailer. We don't, I live in Bay Indies, so we don't call these trailers. We call them mobile homes, manufactured homes. The community standards are kept up. You can't have, um, trailers in your driveway, except if you live on one designated street. There's no motorcycles, except if you're on that one designated street, but you can have golf carts, bicycles, anything like that. Bay Indies also has three pools. We've got three hot tubs, all kinds of, uh, we've got tennis. I'm a pickleball player. Anybody play pickleball? Pickleball Bob. Pickleball. Um, what else? We've got two meeting halls. We've had three, one's burnt down and it's in the process of getting rebuilt. It takes forever to go through all the red tape. With that being said, I wanna discuss why do you wanna buy a home from My Florida Dreams? Well, we're a full service. We cover from St. Pete to Venice. We've got multiple locations, we've got multiple agents, and we do everything from listing your home, showing your home, doing all the paperwork to close to make sure it is a seamless transition. Again, why do you come to Venice? Well, we've got Sharkies, we've got South Jetty, we've got Drum Circles, and that last but not least, it's the shark tooth capital of the world. So if you've ever come to Venice or the Southwest Coast down here, you've got to go and you've got to hunt it for sharks. It's like getting panning for gold. We have a great time. So let's start talking about the house because that's what we're here for. 916 Xanadu, it is being sold as is. There's some soft spots on the floors. As I show you around, it's pretty much original. Gene, let's take a look at the green shag carpet. You remember those days? I used to go around with my bell bottoms. Remember that? Yeah, mine used so, to be red carpet. Red carpet. So as I said, it, it's a 1976, it's 24 by 42. I don't normally talk prices, but I'm gonna list this one. We're asking $18,000 as is. If you're handy and you're able to do your own work, this is a great opportunity to purchase a home like this. As I go around, I'm gonna point out some things. We're gonna take a look right here at the front lanai. Hurricane Ian came to pay us a visit a year, a little over a year ago. Took out a quarter of the carport roof and also this front lanai. But I'm looking at this lanai, this concrete pad here, and it's probably one of the largest ones that I've seen. It always goes the same length of the house, but it seems like it goes out a little bit further. The clamshell shutters, is, that's what we call these, were put there to keep some of the uh, sun, it's just some shade, this house faces north. Looking around this room, 24 by 42. Um, I'm gonna go by the kitchen and that wall, that's not load bearing, so you can take that out and make this a great room. You know, I want to point out over here, along this uh, exterior wall where the floors meet and the ball meets, there's some soft spots. There's some more soft spots right where I am here. So in my experience, I could build these. I can't decorate them. Colorblind doesn't help. Take the carpets up and then start replacing the soft spots. Most, most time you put a, a three quarter ply down and then put some laminate tile on top. All right, so we're gonna come into the dining room area. And I forgot to mention the home is sold completely unfurnished. In the shed, I don't have a key for it, but washer dryer in there does not stay either. This is a built-in, large built-in. Lots you can do with these. You can remove them if you want and put something else in. Sometimes they're painted, new knobs are put on kind of makes it more 2024-ish. We're coming to the kitchen. 
again, it's dated. It's 1976. Probably some of it's still, I know the cabinets are original. Appliance is probably not. But again, at this price, you got you can use them. They work fine. Microwave doesn't stay. The um, mustard colored sink is definitely original. It matches these gold patterns on the ceilings. I see a lot in older, non-renovated homes. Again, this is a 1976, that is original. Tile backsplash. I'm gonna come down into the hallway. I wanna avoid that soft spot, which means just gotta finish up in the kitchen. So it does have the refrigerator, stove does stay. Microwave doesn't, it's got a dishwasher. We've got a closet here, a little pantry. Everything here does not convey. You think they'll miss if I take some coffee? I'm, I need some coffee. They'll just, miss it. Just kidding, just nope, kidding. They'll miss it. Allegedly. Um, primary bathroom, it's got a tub shower. I could tell by the color of the tub, that is original. You can take it out, put a step in shower in it, or I've seen these epoxied and they look brand new. I like the wood grain toilet seat. And I do like the toilet is the same color as the sink, as the tub. We'll come into the guest bedroom. Now the AC is, a, is about 10 years old. It's got a roof over it that has been doubly coated last year. Um, it doesn't leak. That's a plus. So you could purchase this home, fix it up, or just move in for the winter and, and come down to how many days of sunshine? 262. No, 250 days. It just got updated. It used to be 252 days. Oh. I checked with Google. Um, little sliders here for a closet. Then we'll come into the we'll come into the master bedroom. Again, unfurnished, green carpeting, new breaker panel, and it's a Bryant. Along the way, this was replaced, I believe, but it does definitely looks new. Ample size room. It's got your bathroom here. It's got a walk-in shower, large walk-in right here. Just don't want to show a lot because their belongings are in there. Looks like it's got a uh, tie, the stick-on tiles in the flooring in the bathroom. Some other things I forgot to mention as we walk through the house. So Venice, we're located between Fort Myers and Tampa. We've got two airports right near us, Sarasota, Bradenton, SRQ, International, and then you've got Fort Myers also. We're also located next to all the major box stores. What else about Venice? We've got a brand new, about a year old, Sarasota Memorial Hospital, um, new police stations, and something I was at a meeting uh, a couple weeks ago with a politician going over city of Venice and really going over the infrastructure that the city of Venice is doing a lot. They've done a new fire station, police station. They're in the process of either five or 10 year plan of uh, wastewater management. They're moving it. Um, so Venice really is progressive. They do a lot of work on infrastructure. With that being said, anything to add, Gene? I'm going to finish up. Okay. Covered it all. So I am at 916 Xanadu West. I'm in Bay Indies, Venice, Florida, <clears throat> 55 plus resort community. I'm Bob Rosenbaum. My number is 207-479-5130. If you're looking for a TLC home, give me a call quick. Thank you. Have a great day.